You can create or schedule a webinar by going to the webinar section of your account and then choose create webinar. From here you want to give your webinar a name, something that's kind of, uh, you know, going to be informational for the participants or potential participants so they'll know exactly what this webinar is about. So we can call it like new customer onboarding or, you know, 10 ways to make sure your email gets opened, you know, something that's specific uh, so people can understand a bit more about what's going on. And then that automatically generates the uh, URL for your webinar, so the URL that people will actually use to be able to uh, join uh, this particular event. You should choose when the webinar is going to be hosted. And so this time here is going to be specific to the time zone that you have set for your account within the My Account section. So keep that in mind as well. And so you can choose, you know, which date this webinar should be hosted for. So, you know, what day of the week? We could say, you know, Tuesday at 10 a.m. or, you know, 11 a.m., whatever time, you know, you want to host this webinar. And then if registration should be required or not. So this basically means that someone should submit their uh, name and email address uh, before they can actually uh, receive the final invitation uh, with the final URL that they need to join the event. So if this is turned off, all anyone needs is this URL for your webinar and then to join at the proper uh, time and hour and they'll be able to access it. It's completely you know, open for people who have the link. But if registration is required and it's turned on, someone will first need to provide their information and then they'll be automatically sent a confirmation email that has the link that they need to join. And whenever you enable registration, you can choose to uh, send a reminder to those who register. So hopefully after you schedule this webinar, you'll be inviting some people, letting them know about it. They'll register, and then everyone who registers can be automatically sent a reminder uh, at some time interval that you choose here uh, before your webinar starts. Another important aspect when setting up your webinar is this access and subscription aspect. You'll be able to choose if you'd like to actually share this webinar on your social media accounts if you connect them here. And then anybody that registers for your webinar will be automatically added to a particular list within your GetResponse account. And so you need to specify which list you want for uh, these uh, registrants of the webinar to be added to. And you also have the option to choose uh, how they can access it. So if it's open, that means after they register, they'll be sent a link and they're good to go. But if it's password protected, you should uh, include you know, a password and that would also be provided to everyone after they register. So just a little extra little step of security if you'd like to make sure that that's how that, uh, you know, people are joining as well. You should also specify if someone should be added to your autoresponder cycle or not for that particular list if you have you know, an autoresponder uh, messages or messages set up there, if they should be added to that cycle or not. Add a lobby message or agenda so people can know, you know, grab a pen and paper and get ready to take notes, whatever, you know, or thanks so much for joining, we'll get started soon. Whatever you want people to see while they're waiting to join your webinar. There's also the option to uh, enable the GDPR fields. So if you have GDPR fields created in your account, which are essentially, you know, these consent fields that you're able to um, ask for people's uh, permission to, you know, if they accept your data, you know, processing policies, for example, uh, whenever they register, you can turn these on or off if you'd like those to be uh, gathered during registration. And finally is a thank you page. So this actually refers to the page that everyone will see whenever your webinar finishes or whenever they leave your webinar. So this actually refers uh, not to the uh, you know, page they see after they register, but when your webinar is finished or they join your webinar and then leave it. And so it can be one of the landing pages you have created in your account or a custom URL. Uh, that you have, for example, some specific you know page on your website, or if you don't you know have a particular preference, there's just a default get response page that you can choose. And then essentially, that is all you need to do to create your webinar. Once you click save and exit, your webinar is actually you know scheduled and ready to go, and you can actually now share this particular URL uh, with people so they can actually uh, register uh, for your uh, for your webinar that's coming up. You can also send an invitation you know, from that previous screen we saw or right here as well within Manage Webinars uh, that would automatically include the uh, name and date and registration URL within the, uh, as you're used to it, called the newsletter editor, probably I would say. That's maybe how you're used to uh, referring to that. And so you'd be sending a webinar uh, invitation uh, right here as well. But it's very simple to be able to uh, set up your webinar uh, and schedule it or go ahead and host one as well right here. And then you'll see all of the additional options you have for the webinars that you have uh, coming up uh, within this menu action right here.